everyone, I am Kanak and you are watching Ready Steady Eat. Today I am going to show you how to make Rasgullas. Rasgulla is a popular Bengali sweet and it is also regarded as king of all the sweets. So let me show you what you need for this. For this you need 1 litre of milk, 2 tablespoons of lemon juice, 1 cup of sugar, 3 cups of water, 1 teaspoon of all-purpose flour or maida. Mix the lemon juice in half a cup of water and keep aside. Boil the milk in a heavy bottom pan over medium high heat, stirring occasionally, making sure not to burn the milk. As the milk comes to boil, add the lemon juice gradually and stir the milk gently. The curd will start separating from the whey. Keep stirring it slowly till the whey is separated and when you see it is separated enough, turn off the heat. Don't overboil it otherwise the paneer separated from the whey will start cooking and it will become little hard. Once the milk fat has properly separated from the whey, drain the whey using a strainer lined with a cheesecloth or a muslin cloth. Now wrap the curd in a muslin cloth and rinse under cold water and squeeze well. This procedure will take out the excess sourness of the lemon from the mixture. To take out the excess water, squeeze the cloth nicely. Taking out the right amount of water out of the paneer is very important part of this recipe. To check if enough water is out of the paneer, take a little piece of paneer on your palm and rub it with the help of your fingers. After rubbing the paneer for about 15 to 20 seconds, you should be able to make firm roundels out of it. Yes, I think it is done now. Once the paneer is drained, now place them on a dry, clean surface and knead the paneer for around 3 to 4 minutes until the paneer is almost rolls into smooth, soft dough consistency. Now knead the paneer by dragging the palm of your hand hard on the paneer Keep scooping it back together and knead more. If the paneer is too crumply, add a teaspoon of water. Your palm will become little greasy at this point of time. Add a teaspoon of flour and again mix well. Now our dough is ready and smooth. Now divide the dough into equal parts and roll them with the help of your hands. To make the balls, apply some pressure at the first and then release them forming the balls. Now heat a container with some water, let it come to boil and now add the sugar to it and again let it come to boil. Now add the paneer balls and close the lid for 3 to 4 minutes and then turn the heat to medium high heat and cook for another 5 more minutes. One thing make sure the container is large enough to accommodate the finished rasgullas as they will expand to about double in volume while cooking in the syrup. Now when you see it's done enough, close the heat and wait for a few minutes before opening the lid. The rasgulla should be light spongy. Now once the rasgullas are re ready, refrigerate it because after the rasgullas are refrigerated, the sponginess will reduce and they will become more soft in texture. Serve the rasgullas with some sugar syrup. Now my lovely and spongy rasgullas are ready to eat. I hope you like my Roshugullas recipe today and do try it and let me know how it turned out. Do subscribe to Ready Steady Eat for more such sweet recipes. Till then take care and happy cooking.